Hi, I'm Pro Santo from RIM's Developer Relations team, and I'd like to show you some features of the Tablet OS SDK. With all of the tooling available today, you could easily have numerous applications ready to go by the time the playbook is available early this year. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the different command line tools that we've provided in the SDK. In the install directory for the SDK, you'll see a number of bat files which can seamlessly plug into your existing development environment. We've included tooling to allow you to do various things such as take existing Swift, Flash, and Air applications and bring them over to the playbook with very little rework. All you have to do is take your existing Swift file, package it up into what we call a bar file, and it's ready to deploy to the BlackBerry playbook. In addition to the command line tooling, we've also provided seamless integration into Adobe Flash Builder 4 and Adobe Flash Builder Burrito. The code here was provided to us by our friends over at Universal Mind for their fantasy football app. It uses the exact same action script as any standard Air application would, with the addition of our SDK APIs to allow for optimization for mobile devices. Once the code is written, you can easily send it over to a BlackBerry Playbook simulator. The simulator provides simulations of virtually every facet of the live device itself including things such as network connectivity and different UI components. So we've got the draggable containers here that allow you to actually scroll up and down through the lists. As well, you can simulate things such as drag and drop, as well as pinpoint accuracy and precision of where you're clicking to provide a really rich experience for your end users and really have your application be interactive no matter where your end users click on it. This application also makes use of the different touch points on the device. In the My Helmets feature, I can resize my image on my helmet to provide a custom helmet for my application. This app also makes use of Persistent Store to store data offline. So now let's go ahead and fire up the exact same application on the BlackBerry Playbook. The application looks, feels, and behaves the exact same way as it did on the simulator. I can interact with my application in the same manner as I did during my development phase, straight from the UI controls all the way through clicking into my application to reveal more data. So you really don't need a live device to build a rich, fully functional application. Even with the touch points, the behavior is the exact same in resizing the image depending on which touch point I select to resize. I can also save my data just as I did on the simulator through the persistent store. I'll now just go ahead and fire up Adobe Flash Builder Burrito. Some of the big advantages of using Flash Builder Burrito are that it comes complete with the Flex 4.5 SDK. The 4.5 SDK has a lot of mobile optimizations in there for the BlackBerry Playbook. It also comes complete with a what you see is what you get drag and drop GUI builder, which I'd like to demonstrate for you. So I'll create a new project that's targeted toward the BlackBerry Tablet OS. Inside of that project, if you open up the design view for your screen, you're presented with a lot of components that you can simply drag and drop onto your UI. So we'll go ahead and put a new label onto our screen. With the seamless integration, we're able to debug and run our application straight through the IDE. So we'll go ahead and click Run Configurations, and then create a new mobile application profile. One of the big advantages of using the plugin is that you can run or debug your application on either a live device or a simulator straight through the IDE or leverage the standard desktop air environment. We're going to go ahead and run the application through the standard desktop air environment since I've already shown what one looks like through the simulator. The development environment offers a great mechanism to create rich applications using the existing tooling available today. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video.